So I'm bookbinding for the first time and I thought I would share just kind of my initial thoughts for those who are interested as well as, oh, we have a crazy shadow going on that made it worse. Nope, nope, still not good. Okay, anyway, I am doing binding by single pages because that's just how I had to do it with this paper. This is antique paper that I got from a sketchbook that was bound in a way that you couldn't open the book, which is probably why nobody ever used it. So I didn't feel bad cutting it up and binding it so I could use it. There are 46 pages that I cut, taped, and now I've hand tied. And I thought that it would take me an eternity, like a few days, not an eternity, but for a project, I thought it would take a few days it's actually taken me about an hour and a half to tie, hand tie all of these. So I don't think that's too bad. I just put on some music. I'm on my last page. So I use three inch tape, which I would do that differently. I would get smaller tape. So I put the larger part on the back of the page. Since I don't usually draw on the back, I usually just draw on the front and maybe make notes on the back. And so this is book binding tape or book tape. And I'm wondering if they make it in matte because as you can see, it's shiny. And I don't particularly love that, but I didn't know to like maybe look for something else. This looks a lot like packing tape, which I was actually wondering if book tape is just packing tape with a different name and they make it a little more expensive and I'm using waxed thread. I do not enjoy the feel of waxed thread, but it's very nice in that it doesn't get tangled. And when it does get tangled, it's easy to straighten out. And the stitch I'm doing, I think it's a Coptic stitch. So I'm just going under, I'm using these curved needles cause it's a little easier. I'm going up and under and pulling, making a, a loop around the page, and then I'm going back through the loop. And that's it. So it's really pretty simple. I thought with book binding, I might have to, I don't know, learn some really crazy knots, but it, this is just very simple. Now, I'm sure there are very complicated knots. I'm just doing this very simple binding. I have wondered as I've been doing this, if I maybe should have done five or six holes, but I just did four and the book feels sturdy, but I think maybe next time, now that I know it doesn't take an eternity, I would maybe, maybe do more. Cause the book, I mean, it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere, but it is pretty thick. It does kind of shift like that. So now I'm getting the cover on. Let's see, what are my other thoughts about it? I found that string management was an issue. So they were much longer. I made them way too long and I ended up cutting them down just to finish this here. What I did is I would have this string off to one side of my desk, this one to one side of my chair, this one to the other side of my chair, and this one to the other side of my desk. And that helped out a lot. I also learned that cats and bookbinding do not go well together. <laughs> I had to close my studio door. My cat kept grabbing a piece of this waxed twine and then would run off with it. And if I tried to take it from her, she'd meow at me. It was, it was funny and also frustrating at the same time. And I think also I, I, poked the holes with an awl using, um, doing like maybe four pages at a time. And I think some of the pages shifted a little bit because my book did end up maybe a little like a skew, but it's all a learning process. And that's, you know, it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to use this great vintage paper and I just wanted to try something new and different and I do love it. I can see binding. I have some more vintage paper that I can see binding into a book. And I just love that now 
I kind of have the concept of bookbinding and maybe I can repair some books that I have that are older, that are falling apart, or make some new books, just like this one. There we go. I can see these are not straight. <laughs> this is where my precision, my lack of precision, kind of bites me sometimes, is on projects like these. But there you go. There's my sketchbook. I'm gonna tie it off and I think it's all done.